Hello everyone, welcome back to In the Studio with me, Donnie Carr. Um, before we get into the video, I have some quick news to share. My track Space Flex is out now on Sufust Music. I'm really happy how this one turned out. I'd love your thoughts. Um, so if you want to go check it out, the links in the description below. Um, I am going to give you a quick little preview as well here, and then we'll hop right into the video. So here you go. <music> Okay, so let's get into it. Um, today, I want to talk about syncopation. Now, I covered this in a really early video of mine, but I felt like it was worth revisiting because it's such an important concept in dance music. You can add so much groove and, and movement to a track with this simple technique. So, what is syncopation? Syncopation is um, accenting sections of the groove that aren't typically accented or taking stress away from the main pulse of the track or a groove. So for instance, um, in a four to the floor um, house or techno track, the main pulse of the groove is usually on the, the downbeat, the one or even the three. So one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. That one and the three are kind of, that's where the main energy and and pulses so that a lot of times that's where um, new elements are introduced or a chord change occurs or you know something happens whatever um, an effect sound comes in um, by but by taking stress away from the one and the three and putting them elsewhere in the groove you can really break things up you know um, and uh, toy with the listeners um, rhythmic expectations and kind of just break up the regularity of the groove and just really make things interesting um, by adding a little syncopation. So I have this simple little um, demonstration here to kind of just illustrate the point. So I applied some syncopation using um, some hi-hats, um, but first we're going to listen to just a straight 16th hi-hat and then the syncopated version. So here we are. Straight sixteenths and the syncopated version. So, yeah, the syncopated version is way more lively, it's way more groovy, and it's a thousand times more exciting. So I'm going to show you how I approached it here. It's extremely simple. Started with that straight 16th note hi-hat pattern and I picked another um, hat to add some accents um, which suited the first hi-hat and it's playing at a, a higher volume. And as you as you can see, you know it's, it's playing on some of the off beats. It's uh, it's playing on mostly the the sixteenth notes, um, and taking the stress away from the the downbeat and the three, and placing them elsewhere in the groove. And uh, another way that you can add to the syncopated fill is taking away some of the straight sixteenth original 16th note um, hat pattern. So I'm just taking a few notes out here 
and especially when you take the notes out directly after an accent hit, um, like I did here and here, it, it really heightens and, and brings out that accent even more. Um, but just, yeah, even taking some notes out of like a straight 16th pattern can, can add to the syncopated fill. So there you go. Um, a little uh, syncopation demonstration. Um, it's extremely powerful. Um, you don't have to use it just on drums. You, you could use it as well on melodic parts to kind of break things up and, and you know, make things more interesting. Uh, but typically I use it mostly on, on drums. But yeah, that's it for today. Leave me a comments or question and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.